I don't care how cute you might think Haruka is. That was a fat L. Same for other members of Problem Solver 68, bro. They blew up Shiba Boss's ramen shop when he paid for them to eat for free. He gave them everything, a, a helping hand when they were at their lowest. And what did they respond with? Haruka goes, <laughs> Boss, you want me to blow this up? Okay, okay, boom! These motherfuckers better use the money that the MSG, Master Sumsu gang, you know, kind of dropped off conveniently and use that to fucking rebuild a ramen shop or I will drop this show! I won't. You know why? Because Hina is showing up. Iori is here. Gehenna. I forget the exact team name, but the Gehenna girls, their designs have been fucking peak. On top of the stairs, you know, there's this huge crown halo thing. It looks pretty sick. Gehenna's here, ready to fucking party. Let's begin today's reaction. Prefect team, that's right. Does Aru deserve this? Kind of. She was like... Didn't she have like a fucking schizo moment in the ramen shop where she's like trying to deal with this cognitive dissonance and what kind of identity she is? And she's like, oh, I, I need to be hard boiled. And she got up and Haruka was like, okay, I'll blow it up. Ooh. Are they here to take 68 back? Gehenna. Gehenna Whoa! The Gehenna Prefect Team. Archive Sensei, 6. If cute and funny is cunny, what is Gehenna? They're like cute and scary. Crary. How does that fucking work? She reminds me of Yue from Arifureta. Just because of the glasses and the little bow tie on the head. You know what I mean? Totally, I could see that. Iori is down to just kill, man. Nah, she's ready to shoot. I don't think Iori cares. Is Iori like, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the highest rating unit? Like SSR? A three-star unit. Is Iori a three-star unit by default when you pull her? Is she like an important character? Oh my god, it's a three-star unit. Holy shit. The girl next to her is a one-star? I can see that. Hina. She's gotta be three-star, right? She's gotta be, right? Wakey, wakey. Gehenna Prefect. Iori is coming. All I know is that I don't I don't think we know the lore of why they ran away, but like they wanted to establish their own independence. They didn't like how Gehenna was being run, started their own company, Problem Solver 68, wouldn't even try to ask Gehenna for help. Now they're trying to get 68 back. It almost sounds like Problem Solver 68 is like running away. Uh-oh. One thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, Oji-san. Where is Oji-san? Last episode, there was a huge plot point, right? Oji-san, day off. Disappeared. Whole thing about how she was thinking of some last, uh, last, like, desperation play, like the worst case scenario. And something about her independence, her character changed because... Previous student council prize like left her when she was in first grade or some shit. I forget. Anyways, day off. She's gone. Criminals. <laughs> criminal? Take a fuck em, bro. They fucking they they ruined boss's ramen shop, man. L. We're probably gonna protect them, right? Yo, this is like an actual gang war, like territory war. There are so many copy pasted girls, bro. I can't. Get... <laughs> They're actually kind of cute. All these fucking copy pasted girls, and you can't see their eyes. They all have the single white halo. But something about these like NPC jobber characters, they have really cute designs. Same like the mercenaries. Oh. 
That's right, they need to rebuild that fucking ramen shop, bro. I just figured out a solution. How to solve Mr. Shiba Inu's ramen shop finance problems as well as having Problem Solver 68 have proper source of income. You know what we do? We use the money that was in the bag from MSG to rebuild a new shop. New shop in a good place because the old location sucked, right? We put it in a really nice bustling place and we need a lot of employees. Make these motherfuckers, all Problem Solver 68, work at the ramen place for free for a little bit for probation three months, and then we give him minimum wage. I think then we can come to nice terms. Washing dishes is also not an outlaw thing, but you're gonna be doing that soon, I hope. Okay. This fucking chuny delusion of being a hard-boiled outlaw has turned into a really great speech about not running away from your problems, bro. Okay, Otto, I can get behind this. Bang, bang. Is Iori a Nazi? Is she a fascist? Her design. I, I was looking at the red band. I was looking at the red armband. <laughs> she says fuck diplomacy too. Is there like memes in the Kani archive community? <laughs> Iori is a fucking Nazi. <laughs> no shot, right? No shot, right? <laughs> oh! Ooh. Why even dodge though? The bullets don't do shit, right? Okay, she's kind of really strong. Iori like 1v5 right now. Shotgun to the face. Hey, whoa, that tail though, what was that? She has like a devil tail. Look at it, it's like two pointy thing like an imp or something. Matsunda! Sensei, do something, bro. Get this shit in chest out! The Neo Second? Oh, there was an episode where there was some kind of flashback scene with Sensei. And Sensei was leading a different group of girls. Were they there? The Gehenna girls? Oh shit, episode 2, right? Oh. Were they- were we like- we were fighting against them, I think, right? She's sweating. I called her Ayase before. It's Ayane. Hina? Hina. Is that Hina? Senior admin. Amao Ako. Dude, the Gehenna soundtracks are fucking lit. Yes? What are you gonna do about it? Apology letters? Is she gonna have to send an apology letter to us? Apology letters. Dude, she's actually pressing on Yuri. それでは本題ですが、私たちはあくまで空気委員会としての活動にご協力いただけませんか？それはお願いです。今は。Oh, that's why you guys are saying side boob. I thought that this was just a line in her shirt. I I I I thought that she was fully closed, like that that line was just like an extra line in the shirt. This is a titty. Oh. She has a bell also. Why does she have a cow bell? She's a cow. There's, there's an actual bell here. <laughs> as, as we see the cow. <laughs> Is she a cow? <laughs> Even Gan Yu exactly in Genshin has a bell for her. Ara, what's that? 
ベンリア68の処遇は私たちが決めます、yes. ああ今回の件に関して私はこの子たちの考えを尊重 Bro doesn't do shit I'm sorry Sensei stand there He fucking got bailed out At this moment bro What is this 918 right now Before Bro Sensei like stepped out of the car And stopped Iori from like shooting And then And, and then Sensei also gets bailed out by the girls And does nothing Stands there And then when the time for decision making is come to play He says yes or no But Sensei doesn't do shit in the game Yes Ah Kongkaino Ken ni kan shite 私はこの子たちの考えを尊重に済ませたかったのですがやるしかなさそうですね What was the plan? Fuck it, let him talk and then set up bombs everywhere? Yeah, straight up! How dare you do that to Shiba boss? Huh. Aru actually looks serious. She looks upset. She looks like she feels sorry. Does, does Aru feel sorry for Shiba here? She says sorry, right? And then I, I've never seen a face like this. I'm not sure if the anger is directed at the actions that happened at the Shiba Inu you know, ramen shop or if it's towards Gehenna. <laughs> More NPCs. Where is Oji-san still? Oji-san has to show up in clutch at some point, right? Oh, Akko, Akko. Sensei! <laughs> the Trinity girl. Uh, the girl that doesn't need correction, even though she robbed a bank, she said that I'll give him good words at the tea party. So, a tea party is well where all the like, important representatives of different schools come, and it's like a. It's like a meeting? Yeah, it's like a, some kind of like group of execs. ゲハナ、トレーニングライブ。その生徒会が上位に関する報告書を手にしている。何が来ましてえ。当初は私もシャーレとは一体何なのか全く知りませんが、私たちも知る必要がありますゲハナ、トレーニングライブ。それで死
crazy if they're gonna say that say she says or even if you lick her feet as she blushes and then sensei's like as good as that sounds sensei what the fuck do you mean sensei wild and i take what i said back about sensei today sensei clutch with that line <laughs> That's a promise. Is Sensei gonna like eat his feet one of these days? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Alright. War time. No strategy, just run in. <laughs> Any plans? I'll go in. <laughs> There's no plan, there's no strategy. She just fucking runs out with the shotgun. <laughs> it works, it works. Nice clutch. I do. I like how Iori uses her gun for melee sometimes. Punishment? Is she here to correct us? The sound effects that these girls make when they get hit and die, they're like, wait, wait. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? What was that? Okay, oh, 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 okay, Miss Bullet Time, what the fuck is this scene? Haruka actually built this? He only three star though. She should be able to clutch. All part of the plan. Boom. Did she die? <laughs> Something about this girl being stuck in a manhole is suspicious. Is she getting corrected right now? She is. Things are going a little bit too easily. Nah, I'd win. Oh, she thinks she could win? Wait, wait, wait! Okay, okay, they're, they're facing each other. I thought they were gonna stop fighting and just like start shooting each other. I'm still waiting for Uji san to show up. Air pop to shield! Bang! What? Wait, she went airborne with that drone. That's like a Shiroka specific thing, right? I think we saw this in the Serika episode. Yeah, these missiles were launching. Maybe she has to charge the ult. I don't know how ults work in this game. I mean, we just won though. <laughs> That's her. That's her. She's the one with the crown. Dude, look at her design. Look at her design. Look at the amount of details that's been placed on this girl. From this luscious hair, from the little ringlets on her fucking accessories on the side, the horns that she has, the fucking jacket that she has. Like, she just exudes, like, main character energy. Is this a Kudere Lolly? She sounds Kudere. Maybe? Yo, what is up with lollies and six heads? She's reminding me of that girl from Gushing Over Magical Girls. You remember her? There was also a lolly there. What, what, what is up with lollies and, like, eight heads? Korisu, exactly, bro. They, they, you can... Put fucking four fingers on their fucking Nero Al exactly their foreheads, bro. Kina forehead is crazy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way they're hiding behind the car. And what? They, they were just here. Hide and seek 68. I think she needs to write the apology letter. Hi. Damn, even someone also I see the thighs. Even someone as like dominant as Aku was the entire time. She just also just turned so nervous and scared when Hina showed up. Do Hina design the wings on the back too? Holy shit. This is an entire fucking ponytail at the end too. 
you can clearly tell whoever created Hina, there was so much like love put into the details of this character. Uh, we come in peace. Oji-san! Oji-san! Where the fuck have you been, Oji-san? Don't even tell me. Don't don't you dare tell me that you were busy taking a nap. Oji-san's so sus, bro. Oji-san was missing the entire time. Nah, nah, nah. There's something important Oji-san had to be doing, right? Now, there's no way Hina is that student council president for Oji-san back in the day, right? It doesn't make sense. I'm just trying to make some connections to see how Oji-san might relate to the existing characters here. She's taking a nap. Mm -hmm. Just a little nap. Huh? The? Takanashi Hoshino? Backstory again. Why is Oji-san so important, bro? Since first grade, so they know each other, but she's not her president from before, right? Different, different, right? Yeah. How do you know her? In first grade, you were in the intelligence committee? <laughs> Jesus. That fucking sucks. The incident. The incident of what happened at our school? Or something that we don't know just yet. Oji-san's acting like this is all super casual. But, huh. I don't know. Also, I just can't get over Hina's forehead. ひなさん。あなたを忘れるはずがない。あの事件の後。だから、シャーレが。何だって、私は自分の気持ちを言葉。Come <笑> Oji-san must be super important if she bowed just there and backs out. What the fuck? What is up with Oji-san? Also, as she tilted her head, you can see even more details of her halo. There's like this base purple ring in the middle, and then there's like this outer ring, but the outer ring also is connected to a, like an inner circle. It's like a triple fucking crown. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, what did you say? Please correct me. Maybe. Sensei, what did you say? Oh. Ah. Oh. Kaiser Corp. Abandoned desert of Abydos. I don't think we've really been in... Have we been in the abandoned desert? Like right now, obviously, there's a desertification of our school and stuff, but this sounds like a different region. Kaiser Corp is setting some shit in the abandoned desert of Abydos, and maybe this relates to how they're sending other groups to take our school, even though there's a fucking debt that we have to pay. I don't know. It's the same desert? With the Seneca episode, maybe, yeah? yeah. Oji-san, you know the fucking plot! Don't fucking lie to me! Cunny Oji-san, bro. So sussy. What about Shiba Inu's ramen shop? I hope they fucking fix it! And did you see Shiroko's eyes here? He's like, hmm, I'm suspicious. And that's the episode. What a peak Cunny Archive episode. Highlights of today's episode? Probably Iori and Hina. I'm sorry, girl on the right. You're just a one-star girl. And I'm sure there's some whatever her character names are, you know, but she's nice. It's just that Iori seems to be the highlight. Iori seems to really like something to do with feet. There's no way that when writing the dialogue for this show, you can lick my feet as she blushed was not an intentional choice as they paired it with this fucking chocolate lolly. And then for Sensei to then say, well, that sounds interesting. Come on, that's just fucking meme dialogue. These fucking devs are degenerate. They know what people want. They want the chocolate lolly fucking beat service. But my focus is not on the chocolate lolly. Hina. Hina's crown from the beginning, whenever I saw her on top of the stairway, has always like enticed me. Their design is just fucking crazy. You see how she just kind of bows and like left us too, out of respect for Oji-san? Goes to show how important Oji-san really is. 
what happened back in the day. Who really fucking knows? Apparently, she was so different, you know? And we know that, right? Her personality has completely changed. That was also hinted last episode. Something to do with her mentor, the old Stephen Council, leaving her in first year. Wonder whatever happened with that. So the overall plot here, they wanted Sensei. Why? Do we know why? I don't think we know. Something about Shad, some, some incident that happened at the tea party. And you're trying to bargain this like, oh, we can't sign the peace treaty because the general student council press is still missing. So in the meantime, why you need to give us sensei. I know why they're trying to take sensei. Like, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I don't know why they're trying to take sensei. He must be super important other than just being the fucking main character. Maybe they want to take sensei back so that sensei can start licking all their fucking feet. Maybe these girls fucking enjoy it. I don't really know. Her character, though, as she bows down, it seems like she's more complex than I thought. I thought that she would be just kind of like a super bratty, like, evil girl. That's just Yuri, actually. Kina is more complex, and she can understand when to back off, and she even, like, gives advice on, like, what's going on in the abandoned desert, which is the area that we saved Sedika in. Kaiser Corp is doing some shit there. I don't really know. For that's for us to find out in the future episodes. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, Please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.